Hi, I'm going to demonstrate the search bug batch a pen tool and show you how to get the most phone numbers from your list of names and addresses. This process appends the most recent phone numbers to your list. If your list contains first names like Bill or Joe, but the actual name is William or Joseph, those records may not get a match when searching by first and last name. So we're going to run your list a few times to ensure the best match rates. First, make sure your file is in the correct format. If you're not sure what that is, scroll down to the Help and Instructions section of the Batch Append page and click on How Should I Format the File I Upload. When you're ready to upload your file, click on the Batch Menu item, then click on Append Contact Info. If you'd like to avoid entering your email address each time, simply log in first. If you're not logged in, you'll need to enter your email address, then upload your spreadsheet. In this example, we're looking for phone numbers from names and addresses. If your file has a header row, be sure to check the box so our system can designate your columns accordingly. You'll still want to make sure all columns are identified properly as your file may have some columns our system doesn't recognize or need. Let's select the standard append for our first search. This time we're looking for phone numbers from a person's full name. While we say full name, we still need their first and last name in different columns. Then scroll down and click process my data. Once your file is complete, you will get an email notification that your file is ready, so be sure to whitelist searchbug.com with your email provider. That way you won't miss it. Depending on your file size, it might take a few minutes to a few hours to complete, but you can always log in and click on the My Account menu option, then click on the Batches tab to see if it's still running or if it's complete. When it's finished, you may download the file by clicking the complete link. Once you download the complete file, open it in your spreadsheet editor. We're going to open the file and sort the data by the phone number column to bring all the matches up to the top. Then we can copy and paste the unmatched records to a new sheet and save it as your file name Step 2. Now we're ready to run our next search. This time we're going to run the same process, except we're only going to search by last name and address in case someone else in the home has the phone listed in their name, or if the name you submitted was Bill or Joe and we have it listed under William or Joseph. Let's click on the batch menu item, then append contact info. Now we're going to let, select the new file we just saved. Let's make sure the columns are identified properly again. This time we're going to cast a wider net by using the standard search for phone numbers from person's last name and address. Once this second batch is complete, we're going to download the results from the batch dashboard. Then open it. You'll see a few more numbers have been appended, but we still have a few no hits. Now we'll copy those no hit records into a new file again and save that as the file name step three. This time we're going to cast the widest net and use that last file to conduct a premium append for contact info. The premium append will return results for your subject's current and previous addresses. Since very few people update their address with their cell phone provider when they have paperless billing, and often they keep their phones even when relocating or moving out of state. Now, go to searchbug.com and update your data so you can take advantage of all those new phone numbers.